Welcome back to AM Northwest. Here to show us how to draw still life pairs like a pro. We welcome back professional artist Alita Field. Great to see you. Hey, it's so okay. good to see and, you. And pairs we think of as fall. Yes, I, think, yeah. you, I mean, and they're, they're so beautiful. Here yeah. we are in the Pacific Northwest. Apples, yeah. pears, they're all fall. Pears are the official are, Oregon fruit. Yes, yeah. and I mean, that's such a surprise because we always kind of think about, you know, but yeah, yeah. pears are. So yeah. they, we should do that. We should do that. Let's <laughs> do it. Because take all a right. look at these gorgeous pears. Yes, so these are, I wanted to kind of give an example of how you could do warm colors. My or you gosh, could those do are cool Gorgeous. colors yeah. you know any what's really nice is gelatos are so bright okay. and that's the um, medium that we're going to use today so you could do them with oil pastels you could use them with crayons but we're going to use this product called gelatos of course I love the name because it makes me think of ice yeah, cream so you might want to eat yeah. ice cream in Italy yeah exactly at the same time mm -hmm. um, okay so we're going to start with I'm going to do a cool tone um, we're going to use cool tones so we're okay. going to use a yellow to start okay and you just open them and you can kind of spin it just like a lipstick, you know? Yeah. But don't use them as lipstick. No, yeah. not a good idea. <laughs> It's not a good idea. Uh -uh. Don't try this. Don't try that okay. at home. Okay, we're going to draw just first. I'm just going to draw kind of a line about a third of the way up for where like my table would go. Oh, okay. You know. And then we're going to just do one pair, but you could do, if you're going to do it, you could do three pairs, you could do five pairs, but sure. try to do it in odds. Sure. Okay, so we're going to do a big circle. I'm going to do a large circle for the base of my pair at the bottom. Okay. About the size of your fist. So kind of you want to think about a pretty good size. We don't want wimpy pairs. No. No wimpy pairs. No wimpy pairs. Okay, and then do like a golf ball size up above that. So we're kind of making like a little snowman. Okay. And then we're going to do a curve line down that's going to connect and come all the way around and connect. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. I love yours. Mine is like a little, you know, a little wonky, but that's yeah. okay. And then we're going to put this aside. So you can just put this guy aside. You can mm -hmm. put the lid on if you want, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So now we got to think about if we're going to go with cool tones, we would do like a blue um, and I would do then a green. And okay. then maybe like a yellow. Okay. okay, I'll do that. If you wanted to do warm colors, you could go like reds and oranges and all of that. Okay. So we're going to stay more cool. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with our darkest color. Mm -hmm. By the way, you've got to tell me you've got a, you have a book now. I do. And it's is it no, no one dies in art class? Nobody dies in art class. It's coming out in December. Kay. So we're working on the last like editing notes on it to get it ready to launch. And it's all about the lessons that I teach in art. But so that it's I not, had it's to not learn a, in life. Okay, yeah, because it's a life lesson, essentially. Yes, they're okay. all art lessons are life lessons. So okay. we're learning even here, Helen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I've learned a lot from you. And not about <laughs> art. <laughs> Not about art. <laughs> so it's gonna it's good for anybody. Okay. I think everybody can learn from that. Okay. So okay, we're gonna go down at the bottom here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna just start to fill in with our darkest colors. All right. Yeah. Darkest colors. Okay. Yep. And we're kind of I'm not like necessarily filling it all in, but I'm gonna stay a little bit heavier on my right side. Okay, because that's where it's gonna that's be dark. Where we're gonna, it's gonna be darkest. We're gonna pretend okay. there are like pretend my sun shines over here on the sure. left. Okay. So we always wanna decide where our light source is, mm -hmm. but we're just kind of filling this in. Okay. And then we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna keep my lids open because I'm gonna maybe come back to okay. that. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my light blue. And we're going to come over the top of my light blue here. And I'm just going to begin to start filling this in. Gotcha. Overlapping my dark. Okay. So we're going to go light, and then we're going to go a little bit over. And we're just overlapping, overlapping. Mm -hmm. You could use, if you didn't have gelatos, like I said, we could use crayons pastels. or pastels. Yeah. It would work with any other, you know, medium. I okay. love gelatos because they're just so smooth and clean. Yeah. And lovely to work with. I love the way that they yeah, look, Yeah, they just honestly. kind of have this, like, iridescent -y beautifulness. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, now I'm going to come in with my yellow. And the other thing is we're using black paper. This is just construction paper, so you don't have to have any kind of... Um, you know, special. You could do it on white paper too, but the black paper works really well. I, I love the dramatic effect. Yes, mm -hmm. I love how these dark darks, you know, make the brights bright. Yeah. So it's really 
Which is an art lesson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? It also tie means it? traveling. Traveling yes, is important. To that's you, right? right. Exactly. Traveling is always important. Okay. So once we start, that looks awesome. Okay. Look at this beautiful highlights that we have in there. So we could even take this kind of, you know, ochre color, mm -hmm. and you know, because I know sometimes pears have this little bit of a different yellow in them. Yeah. Especially our. You know, we have, I, I can't remember, they have so many different kinds. There's different colors, yeah. which I love. But I'm going to throw in a little bit of my, of this ochre color to kind of give that. And, and then you just your you, finger okay. mm -hmm, to blend it in. You do have to be careful because they can kind of get messy. Yeah. And this nice thing is that pears are not perfect, right? They're just this kind of... They don't have to be, you know, you want them to be kind of bumpy. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have them perfect on your shading, it doesn't really matter. Pears are kind of sexy, I think. I think they are. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. shaped very, mm -hmm. you know, very sensual. Yeah. <laughs> she learned okay. that too in art class. I, <laughs> you're like, wait a minute, what kind of lessons are we learning here? Right. Okay, so we're going to go with our stem. Okay. And we can do that, and then we can talk about our background. But the background is just like secondary. You might even just want to do shading on the bottom and leave a black background. Okay. So I'm going to use this little black, and I'm going to do just a little little dip here, a little smile. Sure. And then a curve line that's going to come up here to the side. Mm -hmm. And then for like a leaf, I can come out to the side and kind of create another little curve line and another line like that and a curve line in the middle. Okay. So I'm just doing it with my black first. Okay. Now I can come back with that, you know you had that little ochre color here. Mm -hmm. Just on the left side, I might add that for my stem. Oh, gotcha. So it gives a little highlight. Yeah. And then for my leaf, I can do the same kind of thing. I can come in dark with a little bit of my blue at the bottom. And then we overlap maybe with a little bit of our green. Look at that. I know, it starts to come to life, mm -hmm. right? And then we can add a little bit of that green and even a little highlight of our yellow over the top. We can throw a little bit of that wherever the light's going to hit. Okay. Okay. And sometimes you have go. to kind of blend it in and then do a, wipe some of these off. Sometimes the oil pastels get a little dirty and you have to throw a little oh, kind of yeah. back off of uh -huh. there. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to come down now for some shading at the bottom. So remember our light source is from right. the left mm -hmm. coming down. First of all, you're freaking rocking your pair right there. Thank you. Yeah, I much. love it. Thank okay, you. Okay, so we got to do our shadow. So we're going to go Kay. down with my blue. And I'm going to come, because it's on my left side, I'm going to come right under this pair, dark. Okay. I'm going to come in really dark right there. Yeah. Okay, on our shadow. Okay. And then we can, you can even take your black right at the bottom here and do a little bit of that. And then we can come in with an alternative color. So maybe I wanna go pink or orange or something to fill in the back part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just to give it something different. Right. The same thing, Helen, like after you do the, the I think it's more important to get the table yeah. with some color in here. But yeah. you could also do color all around the back of your, of your pair as well. I see, okay. And just blending it in. And then, of course, the most important thing is to sign it at the very end. Oh, yes. Is that something, <laughs> is that a life lesson? <laughs> yes, you have to know when to stop, too. Yeah. That's another one. Yeah, like, that is. don't overwork it. If you like your pair, yeah. there you go. just I be done and uh, sign it. Uh, okay, I want to tell everyone again, the book is No One Dies in Art Class. That's right. Yeah, and it'll be available when? December 2nd. And there we go. All right, Alita, thank you very much. Great to see Great you. Great to see you. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest.